tragedy that recently happened lately, or that's still going on right now, we've had the um, tsunami in Japan. Uh, not just the tsunami, but there was an earthquake along with it as well. 8.9 on the Richter scale, I believe. So about 200 people found dead during the uh, tsunami warnings, but uh, now they're still looking for the bodies, apparently. So to me, it's very awful. Thoughts and prayers are out to these people in Japan as we speak. So let me bring it to Cowboy Nick right here. How you doing, Nick? Yeah, it's very good. It's a, 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 well, it's such a beautiful day with such tragedy, Kyle. You know, you would never expect to wake up in the morning and find people running for their lives and all that stuff. But, exactly. But you have that now. And now, for you folks in um, the San Francisco area, the um, Oakland area... and Yeah, in the Bay Area, they've been issued a, a tsunami warning over there as well. And around here, please, um, it, once you hear those sirens, even uh, even Cal Nodi and Cowboy Nick, we will be gone if we hear those sirens. There you go. We do not... Or the emergency alert system. system. We will not be here... To have, to have that problem because there's people in Japan right now. There is a lady in Japan. If you go on YouTube right now and look up the, the videos, there's a lady that was shown in Japan, and Kyle has seen it, where she mm -hmm. has her hands sticking out of a window waving for help. I don't know if any of you guys rescued her yet. She's still there. She still um, might be there. She might be dead now. Might be under some water. Don't say that. Well, the way, as you, as you know, as you saw, it could be that way. You know, but well, hopefully for all of our sakes, she's rescued. Yeah, exactly. Just hopefully for all of our sakes, not just... Japan, just for the whole world. Yeah. Yeah, and apparently the tsunami, from what I've heard, hit Hawaii as well. And as, as Mark said, right in the right in the front of the studio, he said 200 people were found dead, but they're still looking for bodies in Japan. Yes, that is true. And not only that, not only that, there is a ship missing, most likely a rice carrier missing from is missing right now. And they can't seem to find it. And, you and know, they and they I also heard that a, a local power plant. Some kind of fusion power plant, I nuclear believe. Nuclear power plant. Nuclear, yeah. Thought thought it was fusion, but I'd, I guess I was wrong. But yeah, a nuclear power plant was a. Uh, apparently, it made the water explode. And now that was set on fire. Yep. So there's a lot of things going on there. For people out there wondering if a tsunami is dangerous, yes, it is because it not only not only is it uh, not only is it water and fast moving water it's picking up things like houses trees cars oil fire yeah absolutely people bo it's absolutely it's taking people bo taking people's bodies and dragging them around and around and around and around Kyle? some some of those bodies could be probably be swept to sea by now yep and probably going to feed sharks most likely because there's just a lot of sharks around Japan absolutely a lot of hungry sharks out there, but that'd be that'd still be horrible if that happened. Yeah, and if any of you from any of, if anyone from Japan is listening right now, you can call in at two zero nine nine five four five five two six. That's the number of any Japanese people are still alive out there.